So you want to be a vegan, but you don't know where to start. Veganism 101, start with the documentaries. Some of the documentaries you can watch is Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives, Live and Let Live, and of course the newest one is Game Changers. The documentaries will give you an informed decision on what kind of vegan that you want to be. You might want to be a vegan because of the inhumane ways that they treat animals, or you might want to be a vegan just because you feel good. Learn to grow and grow to learn. I'm Angela Yvonne, and this is Vegan Pop Eats. Mexican food has always been my favorite cuisine, but we are here at Bar Verde where they do Mexican with a twist. Located at 65 Second Avenue, this is going to be the most amazing time. And I also have a guest, but not just any guest. I have Jackie Reed, the journalist interview of my dreams, and I just hope I don't fangirl too much. Let's do this. Okay, I have to keep my composure because this is the moment that I have been waiting for. This is Jackie Reed. You've seen her on BET as lead host. You've heard her voice for the Tom Joyner Morning Show and she wakes you up on New York Live. Jackie Reed, thank you. Oh, Angela, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'm going to fangirl for a moment because <laughs> when I say that you are in my top five, because I've always wanted to meet you because I remember watching you on BET. I remember listening to you, Tom Joyner, and you just was together. Oh, you're so sweet. You were, yeah. and you were just an inspiration, and you inspire so many people to I want to be in that. this field because it's competitive and it's so hard. It is. And I said, you know what? I've met two people already <laughs> on my list, and when, when you said that you would do it, when she said she wanted to do vegan pop eats, I read the email like five times, <laughs> and I was just like, one time. Once I heard what you were doing, oh you my know, God. I'm a lover of all things vegan. Yes. I love like me some black girl magic. So so I was like, yes and yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. No hesitation. And I just want everyone to know I'll be getting assistant now because now <laughs> you will not be able to talk to me any kind of way. <laughs> I'm here with Jackie Reed. I'm letting you know that now. Have you been a vegan? So it'll be three years in this coming January 2020. Yes, and how has it been for you? It's been great. It really has. I mean, I would not go back for any reason. I've met along the way a lot of vegans mm -hmm. or former vegans who were right. like, oh, it was just too hard. Not a lot, but some here and there. It was just too hard. I missed this. I, I just couldn't do it. It was too hard to figure out what to eat. It was hard to cook. And I haven't had any of those experiences. It has been easy for me and I feel, and I did it for ethical reasons. Okay. So for me, as a true lover of animals, every time that I have a meal, um, I don't feel like I'm making a sacrifice. Right. I feel like I'm doing something kind for the world. So when you decided, what was the pivotal point for you to say, well, you know what, I'm done. I'm just going to go ahead and just be vegan and no more cheese, no more meat, no more chicken. Yeah. What was the pivotal reason? Because a lot of people choose because of health reason. You mentioned right. ethical reason, but what was the... I think when my longtime dog died, okay. uh, my dog had been with me, Sugar Shane, for 10 years, and when he died, just something in me shifted. I mean, I mourned that loss so heavy, and for so, and even to this day, I'm still very sad yeah. um, about him going, and it's, it's been four years. But, so, when he died, I just took a look. After I was mourning for so long, I just made me examine my connection, not just to Sugar Shane, my dog, but to animals in general. I just have this deep connection with animals. I really, really love them. And so I started to ask myself the question, if I truly love animals, um, then why am I eating them? What's the difference between a dog and a cow? Right. You know, or a chicken and a cat, really. Um, as far as their living creatures, why do we say it's okay to eat, you know, um, cows and pigs, but not horses? It right. doesn't make sense when right. you really think about it. Um, so I started to just, that was in my mind. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this video right before New Year's Eve, and I, I talk about this because I would love to track down the source of it. It was on Facebook, kind of like a Facebook ad or something. And it was a black woman right. who was walking by these vegan protesters, right, vegan activists. 
and um, they hand, tried to hand her a pamphlet and it said, if you go vegan, you know, you can save 200 animals a year, or something okay. like that. And she looked at it and she was like, eh. But it put something in her head and we see her, it's a short video, and as she goes through her life, the, you know, we see her talking to friends and people are, she's hearing more and more things about veganism. And then she's having conversations with friends and then you see her on the computer looking at the, you know, how, where we get our meat from, which a right. lot of us don't want to do. We don't right. want to know the truth. Right. And so she's looking and you can see, you know, that cows are being slaughtered, but yeah. it's very subtle way. You don't mm -hmm. see the very graphic content that is that exists if you really want to know the truth. Right. You're looking at that and then she decides, you know, she's gonna go vegan and then you see her at the end of this video standing with the other vegan activists handing out pamphlets. Oh wow. And it, you know, it just what sat with me from that whole thing, aside from the fact that she was a sister, and I, I can't tell you what the source of this video is. Right. Uh, or what it was. But the, if I could save 200 animals a year by choosing not to eat meat and not to eat dairy, then that just does not seem like a big sacrifice for me to make for right. my own pleasure, just so I can have a steak or just so I can have bacon. It just doesn't seem like it's that much of a sacrifice if I can save those animals. And then on top of that, there's so much great food out there anyway. So much great food. That there's no need um, for all these animals to suffer just for my pleasure. Right. No other reason, just for my pleasure. Right. So that was the that was the reasoning behind my going vegan. So now that you've been a vegan for almost three years, what was what is the most interesting thing that you found out about yourself becoming vegan? You know what? I started for ethical reasons, for right. animals, but what I discovered along the way and not long into it was that there were all these health benefits yes. that I had no idea about. I'm 180. Look. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, I was, I, I, I'm a runner, so I trained for two New York City marathons, wow. and I was like, um, I, I had slowed down a little bit because my knee was bothering me mm -hmm. and it was pain in my knee and I went to the doctor I was going to physical therapy but it wasn't subsiding it wasn't going away I would walk up subway steps and there would be pain I would get in and out of cars and I would feel pain whenever I and you can relate to this because you're a fly girl anytime I would try to wear she heels she is. anytime I would try to wear heels I couldn't so right. I was at the point where okay and I, I really had said to myself you know what well this is just going to be my life I'm just gonna have soreness. I could not sit through a Broadway show or a movie theater, a movie, without my knees bothering me so bad, it would distract me. Because of the inflammation. Inflammation, it was hurting. Mm. When I went vegan, not gone. Two months after, gone. People gone. don't know. They don't know, and I, and I went and Googled immediately, because I was like, wait a minute. I looked up inflammation and veganism, and it said, that it will take the inflammation out of your body. Yes. I did not realize that every time I was eating meat, every time I was eating dairy, that I was Flaring putting it inflammation up. into my body. And what's the good thing about it is that a girlfriend of mine had the same issue and she slid into my DMs and she was just like, after Thanksgiving, I have to be vegan. And my doctor, you know, he recommended it because I had so much inflammation in my and all of my yes, body yes and people just that that was one of the reasons why I became vegan because when my mom got sick and she had breast cancer I was just like it had to be the food yeah it had to be the food so I'm just going through research and I'm seeing all these different things and food is really medicine yeah it, it is. really really or it can be is. poison or it can be poison yeah depending on what you eat because yes. Not all vegan food is healthy for you, but no. if you, you know, really consciously research and find out what's going on, it's the best thing that I've ever did. Yeah. It's the best thing I've ever did. I sleep well. Yes. My, uh, my skin is amazing. I never really had bad problems with skin, but just, just I feel different. Yeah, I don't do. feel bloated. I feel, I, I feel full. I have better energy. Absolutely. Better energy. Absolutely. I, mean, I may, I could work a long day mm -hmm. or have a crazy week and I may be mentally, uh, you know, just kind of stressed out mentally. Right. Uh, just because everything that's on my plate, but physically, I You're feel fine. 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 I don't feel tired. I don't feel weighted down. It's incredible. I had a girlfriend of mine. Um, from college say to me recently, I'm from Atlanta and I was home in Atlanta, or no, we were talking on the phone and she was getting out of the car, right? And you could hear all this, <laughs> and you're like, and I was just, bouncing out, but I said, I'm not going to say anything. And she said to me, she said, 
Jackie, don't you have pain now? No. You know, when you get in and out of the car no. and stuff like that. I was like, no, I don't. I can't Not relate. I can't relate. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> So I, I let, and I try to tell as many of my friends mm -hmm. or relatives that they should really give it a try. Give my boyfriend try. will always say, "You got five minutes. She gonna tell you about being vegan." Absolutely. I will. I will. I believe that it is my responsibility to at least let people know. Give you the information, and what you want to do with it is what you want to do with it. I will now let people ask me as opposed to kind of walking in and saying, <laughs> y'all ain't what vegan. What do you need next? Because <laughs> I was like the vegan police <laughs> at first. I would just get offended when people were eating meat. and But I said, okay, right. I got to calm down. Yeah. And the more that I read, the more that I learned, especially from other people that were, you know, proponents of mm -hmm. veganism, I said, listen, I got to chill out and I got to let people come to it when they're ready. And so I'm much more at peace with right. it. Eat what you Even want. Even though to you eat. get a twitch every now and then when someone says, "Eat that vegan." <laughs> I definitely do. But <laughs> the thing with veganism, I find that if if you don't make it seem so hard, and you speak to them where they can understand, yeah. Where you know what it used to be in school. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. If you just ex just explain that you know, I just don't eat meat. Well, why don't you eat meat? Well, let me show you why I don't eat meat. And you will be amazed that if you talk to them with food in front of you, right. and they're tasting this, and they're like, I cannot believe all of this is plants. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It changes the way that you think. It changes your palate. Now I can smell meat. Now I can smell the grease. Now yeah. I can smell all of that because once it's out of your body, you 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 don't even want it anymore. I you don't. don't even want it I anymore. I don't crave it at all. And there's so many great options out mm -hmm. here. And the thing that I realize with a lot of people, like a lot of people will have just this block. It's right. just what they believe. Right. I'm supposed to eat meat. We're supposed right. to eat meat. I mean, I have a girlfriend who was just in the hospital. Right. right? and needs to really change her diet, not just for her physical health, but her mental health too. Absolutely. She is dead set against oh, yeah. going vegan. You know, my mother is the same way. My aunt is the same Will way. Will not do it. Taking insulin every day. Yes! And the doctor said, well, you know, you can, if you get off the meat, if you get off the sweet tea, oh, I'm old, I'm set in That's my ways. That's what my mother said. And I just, you know, I just can't imagine but I'm just like, you can't imagine. You're sticking yourself with a needle every so you're day. you giving up. You, you just gave up. I just said to my mother, you're just so, let me get this clear. You're so giving clear. up. Right? You're, no, yeah. I'm not saying that. But I was like, it sounds like I harassed my mother. And that one, I will not stop. <laughs> I harassed. She used to come, she comes to New York every year for right. Thanksgiving. And we drive down to Philadelphia because that's where she's from. Every year, my mother, chitlins. We go to the butcher. She gets the chitlins cook some, you know, clean some, cook some every year. They expect Absolutely. it. This year, nothing. But she she never even asked me to take her to the butcher. I wasn't going to do it, but I was going to have my boyfriend. I, right. You know, I can't. Do, she's my mother. Right. So I was like, I'm not going to take you to the butcher, but, right. but she never even asked me. She oh, never asked, good. which I was very happy about. That's good. So I see, and I made, so she loves Beyond Sausage. The mm. Italian sausage. Yes, yes. So I made a spaghetti for her. When, when I'm around, she eats vegan. Because right. I'm cooking, we go to vegan restaurants. She doesn't have a choice. But I made her some spaghetti with Beyond sausage with peppers and mushrooms and she fresh couldn't garlic. Believe it. And I, she loved it. Loved it. And so I said, let me show. Because for her, it's just about rethinking everything. Absolutely. And she's just like. You know, she just doesn't understand how to make it. I'm like, Ma, it's the same way you make spaghetti, but just with sausage. Right. You just cook the sausage separate, put it in there. I told her how to do it. She was like, you don't have to show me how to do it. I'm like, Ma, you've been cooking forever. <laughs> but it's my favorite time of year, the holiday season. Absolutely. Because I love so many. I love soul food. Yes. But I love healthy vegan soul food. Yes. Even more. Yes. So what would be the advice you would give to someone who is wanting to cross over, but, they, but they're just like, uh, you know, I know it looks good, but I need someone to hold my hand. Yeah. Or what's the first thing that you wish someone would have told you when you first became vegan? Hmm, the first thing I wish someone had told me, I wish that someone would have said, do purple carrot. Okay. And I mean, I'm, I, it's not an ad, I'm not, right. not sponsoring me or anything do a vegan meal prep 
because I think that there's a lot of experimenting that goes on in the kitchen mm -hmm. when you cook vegan. Um, and it's hard because there's so many recipes out there, yes. it, you know, on the internet that it's hard to kind of figure out what you want to cook and store your recipes. You have to be organized with that. But I would say start where you are. I would say find a meal kit delivery okay. um, that sends you the ingredients and recipes, whether it's purple pear, there are many out there to choose from. I would choose something like that, but then I would also um, start where you are. If you love pizza, learn how to make variations of vegan pizza. Right. If you love Italian food, learn how to make Italian food that's vegan. Learn, I would give my, like once a week, I would try to make something. Absolutely. Vegan. And I would find some kind of guide out there for meal prep. You know, if you are cooking at home, because eating out when, for lunch and things like that, that's when you get into, and you get into trouble trying to find right. vegan food. Right. And, and I would say, don't overthink it. Just realize that a lot of foods you're already eating are vegan. We have alternatives. Yes. Oh, but I mean, you get a salad. Just don't get the cheese on it. Look at what's in the dressing. Add chickpeas for yes. your protein. I mean, come on. Beans. Yes. And learn about protein. Absolutely. Learn about the nutrients that you need to get a lot of which you can eat by just eating the right foods. You don't have to necessarily take supplements. In the beginning, it's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. And watch out for carb overloading because <laughs> I did that. You can eat a lot of carbs at first if you don't know about proteins. Now I know about what protein and I make sure that every meal I eat, I have protein. Awesome. Well, on that note, we're about to have some good food. So stay tuned. But we have these dishes coming in right. and this is our nachos. It's wow. made with uh, butternut castle. Some uh, black beans, smells pickled jalapenos, and guacamole. And this is our uh, wild mushroom uh, quesadillas. We have some uh, spicy uh, cheese inside. Made out of cashews, of course. We have uh, lemon crema and salsa verde. I love awesome. that I don't have to ask Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you sure it's vegan? <laughs> Like when I, every time I go to a restaurant, it's like, Hard are you to believe, sure? but it's 100%. Thank you oh, so much. Yeah. Sure. Let's do a cheers. Cheers, cheers to veganism. Yes. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's got the perfect amount of sour taste to it. Mm -hmm. There's sweetness in there. And it's creamy too. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. See, we can have cute beverages as well. I try to tell people. Try to tell people. Well, we're going to dig into these nachos, and then I'm going to dig into Miss Jackie Reed. Okay. Because I just want to pick your brain because you are a noted journalist. Okay. And people I love don't that. know. People don't know <laughs> when BET was BET, <laughs> she was the lead anchor, and I used to tune in. And just to see you with your shortcut and just giving fashion and being so articulate, it was just inspiring. It oh, really, I really, truly that. was. And then you get to see your quirky side when you're on the Tom Joyner morning show. Yeah. And what made you want to be a journalist? Girl, I'm going to eat first before oh. I answer a question. She said, let me, let me get on this nacho. We're going to eat and talk. Well, you go first. Okay. Because I, I have manners. I know you've had this before. Do you No, I don't know how do you. Oh, you have it? Mm -hmm. okay. I like to have the same well, let's experience. Let's dig in. Okay. I'll take this little piece over. Okay. You got that? Oh, hold on. Let me, let me put this closer. Don't you be messy. Ah. Okay. Okay. I love this. This is so pretty. Yes, it is. Hold on. And there's more cheese down this yeah. See, I'm just See, going. I'm just going. Like that yeah. Different. I don't know why we're trying to be cute. Trying to be cute. <laughs> trying to be cute. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. And and I love Mexican food. I am too. Mexican food is just, mm. it's one of those cuisines that it stimulates your palate because of all the seasonings that they use. Yeah, right. And it's just so exciting. But when I became vegan, I was in the search for it. And I think, no, I think that this is it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. I don't wow. want to be messy, but it's Listen, messy. It's not so. Mm -hmm. We have to be messy. OK, you were asking me. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's OK. So what made you become a journalist? Mm. Cause I know you're from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. 
You went to Spelman, right? No, wrong one. Clark. You went to Clark. <laughs> um, what made you decide that this is this is what you wanted to do to be a professional storyteller? Oh, that's hot. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm. Well, that was it. I love telling. I love reading other people's stories. I was a great student of English and literature, mm -hmm. and my teachers there always in high school and elementary school always encouraged me to write. Um, and so when I got to high school, I was on a high school newspaper, and it's so funny because I almost became a veterinarian. Wow! But I was like, for the love of the animals. For the love of it, I've always loved animals. But um, I didn't make the connection to animals and food until now. Mm -hmm. But um, once I got to college, I wanted to be a vet. And I was like, maybe I want to go to law school. But then I was like, no, I love telling stories. And I enjoyed my experience on my high school newspaper. So I went into journalism and it was just, you know, looking back, I, lo I have loved pursuing it as a career and I love having it as a career. Well, you've done an amazing, you have an amazing career thus far. What would you tell yourself if you had to start in journalism right now? Like, what are the tools that you would want someone to tell you, you need to have this or you need to do this? Because now it's not such a cut and dry because when we were going to school, it was just like, okay, you go get your little degree. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to your um, new station out in Willacoochee, Georgia, which isn't a real place, right? But you, you chunk it out and you grind and you small. But now people are breaking into the industry now. There's okay. Um, I'm gonna do my little YouTube channel, and now you see me on E. <laughs> well, you know, so they're on E, but they're not doing journalism. Okay, that's not news. You know what I mean? They're not going to end up on ABC or CNN. They're hosting, which is something completely different, right? Um, if you want to do journalism, you do need to start small in smaller markets because you want to learn how to report. You want to learn how to cover stories. You want to learn how to interview. You want to learn how to tell a story. If I didn't go to smaller markets, I wouldn't know how to cover a court case. Right. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know how to cover a shooting. I wouldn't know how to go to the police station and get a police report and all the steps that you take as a journalist to find out information if someone slams the door in your face and says, I don't want to do an interview, then how do I tell that story? That's what journalism is. Right. Getting the facts, doing your homework, doing the digging, getting the story. So it's very different um, from just telling information. Um, it, it's two very different things. So you do have to s start small, but if you do want to host and do something like that, which you know I love as well, that's what I do now for NBC, I'm a host. Um, you know, then you can start by getting your personality out there through YouTube and other social media platforms. That's a way to go. But one thing that I would tell someone who wants to do news specifically is plan to start small in a smaller market. It will benefit you not to get thrown in the deep end and then you're out there with all this competition and you don't know how to do right. journalism, right? which can be a problem. You need to cut your teeth and really learn. I would also say, my advice would be when you're in school, major in something else as well, if, or minor and do a double major or minor in a language, uh, pre-law, something else that gives you an edge over the competition. Okay. You know, those are the things that I would do. I would even say go all the way to law school or get a graduate degree in something else so that you bring that to the table. Now you're an expert in something. So now you're not competing against everybody else out there on that level. Now you're an expert in something even if you pick up something as a hobby right you know what I mean even if you're like you know what I'm gonna become an expert on the Supreme Court or the president I'm gonna read something about every president I'm, that's gonna be my thing you have something to lean into um, as a journalist or which is you know what I encourage people to do because the thing about journalism is you learn how to write right you learn how to report you learn so many skills. You learn how to actually really use your voice to tell a story. You learn how to interview. You learn how to do so many things that will benefit you as you, you know, I have done radio. I've written right. for blogs. I've written for magazines. I've done, I'm able to do so many things because I have so many skills that I learned being a journalist. So that's why I tell a lot of young people, be a journalist. Go and learn how to do that. If you want to transition into something else, then do that. Right. But start small. So what is next for Jackie Reed? I know that you're 
on our morning television now, but what's what what do you see yourself doing like in five years um, with the Jackie Reed brand? Well, I mean, now the biggest thing that I'm doing is Vegan Sexy Cool, which you know about, my lifestyle brand. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to launch a podcast. I have a website, lifestyle yes. website already, vegansexycool.com. So follow me on social media. And it's just about letting people know that being vegan is not this boring, you know. It's uh, not. You know, no great food, just boring. You know, it's it's not lettuce, and you know, you can't go out to a fabulous restaurant and have a good time. And with me, it's also fashion. There's a lot of and fashion beauty. brands and makeup brands. It's like Tarte is one of them. Yes, and Lip Bar, and which milk. I wrote about. Yes, yes. Milk, I love so much. Yes. And, there, and Becca is also absolutely. Vegan. There's so many and hair care products for black women. All of that. A lot of the beauty companies and brands are owned by black women. Yes, which I love. Love, yes, like the lip bar, but that there's this whole lifestyle out there that's vegan, which it, which means it's toxin free, yes. right? Organic, so it's, you're not putting poison in your body, not just by what you're choosing to eat, but by also what you're putting on your hair, what you're putting on your skin. Well, thank you so much. I really, really, truly like this was the highlight. <laughs> This is the hot, This is how you close out 2019 <laughs> with Miss Jackie Reed. Thank you I so much for being it. on Vegan Pop Eats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, you for what you do. Oh, to spread the word oh, about you. the vegan lifestyle. Thank I think you. what you're doing is fabulous. Oh, and now I'm a fan of yours. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do me like that, cause I I was trying to hold back the tears. I was just like, I'm just about to fangirl on her because she just doesn't know. No, you're but doing yeah, your thing. And I appreciate I, it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's <laughs> that motivates me a lot because when you're in this space, it's so much. And like you said, you have to um, find your own niche yeah. in order for someone to want to know what your brand and your story is about. And I just so happen to love food. I love talking to people. Love being cute. <laughs> I told you she's. <laughs> And I just love letting people, you know, know about different things that will make them better. Yeah. That's well, it. That's thank it. you for all you do. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's cheers one more time. Let's do it. Yes. Cheers to 2020. You sure are. Yes. And I'm hanging out with you too. We're going to eat. Oh. Somewhere like another time. Oh. And again and again. And Absolutely. Again. Anytime. <laughs> I would drop anything. This was an amazing time. I had great conversation and great company. But of course I say that all the time because veganism is great. Be good to yourself. I'm Angela Yvonne and this is Vegan Pop Eats where meat is obsolete. And you know how I do. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Make you want to do a dance.